the first thing you want to do before you even begin the cookie is to get these pans ready. So I'm going to use the standard size Madeleine pan. I have several, the mini versions and this size, but you really want to grease them or spray them well. If you're going to grease them, please use butter. So a good butter spray or a baking spray. And you can do that ahead of time and then set them aside. And we need five eggs for this. So we want five yolks in a large bowl. And when you separate eggs, you wanna make sure that you just allow that white to fall through your fingers or you wanna use an egg separator. You don't wanna transfer shell to shell. A cup of sugar. So get your sugar in. And then you want to beat this up. So mix that all around and have ready some butter that you have melted and cooled. You want five ounces of butter, melted and cooled, unsalted butter. So we're going to put this in. And I first had this cookie when I was in the Piedmont in the Piedmont region of Italy, in the northwest corner. I happen to be in the wonderful city of Torino. And Torino is often called the Paris of Italy, with beautiful palace-like buildings. And of course, you know, for many years, it was ruled by the Savoy family. And they happened to come from southern France in the 16th century. So this cookie, the Madeleine, which is traditionally a French cookie, found its way into northern Italy and also found its way into many of the pasticceria, the pastry shops of Italy. So whenever I'm traveling in Italy, I always make sure I hit the pastry shops and I see what type of cookies they have. Many of them are very local type cookies. So there is our sugar and egg mixture. And now we want to add some orange zest to this. You could use orange or you could use uh, lemon if you wanted to. And I like to do that, get the zest in by using my microplane zester. So a large orange will give you a couple tablespoons of zest. And then I want to add some juice to this as well. So I'm going to cut this up. And you want about, oh, tablespoon, two tablespoons of juice just to give it a little flavor. I'm just going to squeeze the juice right into my egg yolk mixture. So here we have one and three quarters cups of an unbleached all-purpose flour. You want to get that in a little bit at a time. And I love making this cookie for special occasions. You can make it and freeze it ahead of time. It really holds up well for about a month. All right, so we're going to stop this. Just set this aside now. Because now we have to work with our egg whites. Everyone has two of these in the kitchen, don't they? So here are my five egg whites. And now we want to whip these on high speed until they are fluffy, foamy, and hold their peaks. We don't want to make them so stiff, though, that you can't fold it into the batter. But I think you're really going to like it. So this is starting to look good. It's getting nice and fluffy. So when it can hold its shape, like so, see, without falling off, then you know that they're good. So now we want to add this to our batter. So the best thing to do is to get yourself a wide-faced spatula, rubber spatula, and begin folding the whites from the bottom, going over the top, and not going too fast because you don't want to deflate everything that you just worked so hard to create. So going from the bottom, taking your time to get all of those egg whites well incorporated into this mixture. 
and as I say, many of the cookies that I make, I take inspiration from, from my trips to Italy. So I'm gonna give this one last turn because I still see a little bit of white down there in the bottom. Okay, that looks good. Now we can fill our mold. These are great for afternoon tea. I remember sitting in the piazza in Torino, just enjoying this with a nice cup of espresso in the afternoon because that's what Italians do in the middle of the day. They stop to smell the roses, so to speak, to enjoy the beautiful art that's around them to take time out to just relax a little bit instead of scurrying around. So now they go on a bake sheet because it's easier to get them out of the oven instead of trying to grab these with a, an oven mitt. So in they go. And I'll come back and check those in about 10 minutes or so.